This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these letters with the dripping paint effect using Procreate. Before we get started though, you're going to want to grab a copy of this image over here. I'll have it linked in the description of the video. Go ahead and open up this image, hold a tap over it, and then go to Copy Image, and then come back over here to Procreate. And let me go back to my gallery, and I'm going to create a new canvas based on the clipboard. It should be the second option down right there that says Clipboard. Tap on that. And there we go, now we have this image opened as a new canvas. So I'm going to create a letter going over the sunset here. First I want to choose the color of the text. I'm going to open up the color over here, and I want to make sure I have white selected right there. And I'm, com I'm going to come over here to the top left where this wrench icon is, and I'm going to tap on Add Text. And for this demonstration I'll be using the letter D for the word dripping. And I'm going to triple tap that or double tap it, whatever it takes, to select it. Come over here to the text settings. And the font I'm going to be using is called Milkshake. Now this is a third-party font, meaning you'll have to install it yourself. I'll have a link in the description of the video to where you can download this font. And I also have another tutorial demonstrating how to install the font on your iPad in case you need help with that. So let me take the size of this and bring this up a little bit. Let me position this over the sunset like that. Let me just pinch this down a little bit so I can see exactly what's going on here. I'll make this a tad bit bigger change the position over here, and then I want to take the opacity and bring that down about that much. And once we get the, once we get it like that, you can go ahead and tap Done. Now what I'm going to do is, let me come back up here to my Layers panel. I'm going to select the Image layer, and I'm going to zoom in on the letter right here. I'm going to come over here to the Adjustments menu, top left, come down to the bottom of the list where it says Liquify, and the settings I'm going to use for the Liquify brush are Push, the size is roughly 17%, as you can see right here. The pressure is max, the distortion is none, and the momentum is none. And once you have that set, you can just draw through the letter like this. And it'll create this smudged paint effect, as you can see there. Now let me run through and do that again, just to really get the full effect here. Go like that. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, let me come back up here to the text layer. Select on that, triple tap that to select it, open up the text editor and bring the opacity all the way back up to 100% like that. Tap Done. And now what I want to do is come over here to the selection menu, choose Automatic, and then tap on the image like that to create a selection around the letter. And then I want to tap on the negative space right there to create a selection around that as well. And once we've done that, I'm going to come back up here to the Layers menu. I'm going to turn off the visibility of that, la of that letter layer. Go back to the original layer, and then grab the eraser, and then just erase out the background like that. Now if you notice over here, I have the eraser size all the way up, and I have the eraser opacity all the way up as well. And then for the eraser brush, I have the hard blend right there. Okay, now once you've done that, you can just tap on the selection icon right here to remove that selection. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a painted letter now. So what I'm going to do is, let me... Uh, let me zoom out a little bit here, and let me grab the Select tool and move this towards the center of the page so we can work with this further. There we go. And let me zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to go back to the Adjustments menu, and I'm going to uh, go back to Liquify. What I want to do now is just run the brush through here again just to make the, the edges of the letter look a little, uh, little more uh, whimsical and natural looking so that it doesn't look so um, computer generated. There we go. You can even soften these. You can soften these edges up a little bit if you want. And what I'm going to do now to make this look like it's dripping, I'm just going to I'm just going to tap down here like that. Tap a drag like that. Let me undo that. To undo, you can just tap with two fingers. You go something like that right there. That's looking pretty good. Make a drip down here. Make another drip over here. Maybe another one coming off this side. I'll make a drip coming off the top over here. Some more up here, another drip down here, one down here like that, and maybe one coming off this arm right here like that. And if you zoom out, you can see it's starting to come together here. So let me zoom out a little more. At this point, you can come back to your Layers menu. You can turn off the background layer, or if you want, you could change the color of the background to something a little more uh, complementary like that. And there you go. That should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can create this uh, dripping letter logos with paint using Procreate. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.